Christine, the one who is carrying the baby. Your name. Okay, Astrid I'm talking Norman. about you. Now, uh, please bring, give the baby to the mother and come here. I have a testimony to share with you. Because I Hello, promise Julius. to be faithful and I will be faithful. Amen. 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 The reason I've called you here is because I promised when you were here I said say your problem on the microphone because you are going to come back and testify the problem of ulcers. So uh, Christine yes, Pastor. praise the Lord praise Amen. Him you, you are strong in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, I want you to tell these people your names and what was your problem, the health problem that we prayed for. My name is Tidiro Christine and I had a problem of ulcers. So you had a problem of? Of ulcers. For how long had you had that problem of ulcers? It started when I was in P7. It started when you were in P7. Yeah, when I was in P7. You started having ulcers. How did you know it was ulcers? Uh, I didn't realize that it was ulcers when I was still in those lower classes. I came to realize that I had ulcers when I reached in senior two. Because I reached the extent that I don't eat push at school. I just eat beans. Even beans, I even failed to eat beans. I could just get, go to the canteen. I buy like a Linda Z or what. That's my lunch. That's my supper. You could not eat beans? Yeah. What would happen if you eat beans or posho? I could feel too much pain here, here, here. And I get heartburn. It is too much. You would get heartburn and pain uh, in this part, uh, yeah. like I said, the upper side of the belly. Yes. And then you would get heartburn. Yes. Was it too much? That burn was too much. I so, feel like the fire is, is burning more on the throat from here up to here. You felt like fire was burning from the throat going downwards? Yeah. And then, did you go to any clinic? No, I did not go to any clinic. But when I was in senior two, it was second term. Yes. I remember I was at school and it I collapsed because of ulcers. So they took me in the hospital. They test they tested every disease. They couldn't find every disease. Then they told me it was ulcers. I spent there a week on drip. That's what I actually was asking about. So you spent a week in hospital. Yeah. They tested every other disease. They couldn't see any. Yes. The only thing they found out was that you were suffering from ulcers. From ulcers. So it was that bad. Did they give you any medicine? Yeah, they gave me tablets. But they did not work for me at all. The tablets didn't work for you at all? Yes. Okay. So, uh, from P7, which year was that? When were you in P7? I was in P7 in 2018. 2018? Yes. So, you got to know that you had ulcers from 2018? Yes. Or when you were in senior two is when you got to know? I realized that I had ulcers even before when I reached in Sinia because I had that problem. But in my P7, I didn't know it is ulcers. But I could just feel fire burning. And I tell my mom, I feel fire burning here and here. She says, ah, I, it is heart burn. She, she didn't know also because she had the same, the same problem. Your mother also had the same problem? Yes. Oh. So she also didn't know what it was. She, it's only when you're in senior two, you collapse, and then when they took you to the hospital, finally they discovered the only challenge you're having is ulcers. Yes. They gave you medicine. Yes. So from 2018, and so you had ulcers even before 2018, but 2018 is when you started opening up about it. Yes. Okay. So which year is this? 2020. For how many years are these? I find the job can make it From 2018 to. Bagami Mukaga. <laughs> Okay, let's say six years, because after all, even before 2018, she already had. Okay. Anyway, Katujibare. 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 would be the seventh year if she would. So, but uh, she also had some time behind before. So, probably say six years. Now, so then you came to church. Yeah, you came to church. How did you come to church? That day, who brought you to this church? How did you get to know about this church? You know, you are telling people who are here and others are not here, so they don't know. So I came to know this church through my auntie, Madame Pamira. She's the one who introduced me to this church because I'm her maid. So you came with her to church that time? Yes. Okay. So, so what happened when you came to church? When I reached in church, I had a lot of things disturbing my mind. But whenever I could reach in my church, I sit down, I could start crying from nowhere. I just start crying. So it was like third week, we, we had came first, second time, and then third time when I was, I was there with a baby. So when you, were, you, call, you said there is a lady here, she has a problem in her joint here, here. She was seated there. So when you said, so you said God is going to touch you ev- wherever you are. So I say I had in my heart I should go there play for me because I had a problem of not breathing and headache. It was too much. So I came. You had a problem of not breathing. Of no, of not breathing. And headache. And headache. How long had that been? I cannot tell. Since my childish, I could get that problem of not breathing. When would you not breathe? When would you get a challenge of breathing? At what time? Nose, nose bleeding. bleeding. Yes. Oh, nose bleeding. Yeah, nose bleeding. I thought you could not breathe. I was like, okay. So, oh, you had a problem of nose breed, ble- yeah. bleeding. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you decided to come they because of nose bleeding. Yes. Okay, go ahead. So when I reached in front, Apostle is the one who prayed for me. That's all I remember. I remember coming in front. They, he laid hands on me. I found myself here. Okay. I I, re, I I I got up when he was asking me, do you have this problem and this? I told you yes. Okay. I didn't know how I came to the pulpit. I don't know how you came to the pulpit. Yes. The glory of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then, so after they had gone, uh, because I remember I called a group of people, so many people had come, and then you are one of them that came here. Actually, yes. was it about confessing Jesus or Savior or something? But then, after they had gone. While I was still there, then the Lord told me to come back to you, for you may not know. Then I came to you and asked you about something. What did I ask you about? You, you, uh, first question was, do you have all, both parents? I said, no, I have only mom. The second, pro, the second question was, do you, do you normally get that? Do you have ulcers? And I told you, yes, I normally experience that is a question. I have ulcers. So it's not you who told us that you had ulcers? Yes, you are the one who asked me, do you have ulcers? And I told you, yes, I have ulcers. And then he prayed for me and told me, you're healed. Even your family members who had the same problem are also healed. This doctor is going to receive us as her savior. Because as I was ministering her, I saw her without a diary with one parent, the mother. And I was seeing something. I kill her. By the Spirit of God. Now, I out. Come in her. Never return. The Spirit out. Never come back. Amen. Yeah, because I remember. Uh, the reason I asked you, do you have both parents? I saw only the mother. I said, I don't know why I'm seeing only the mother. Why am I seeing only the mother? Then you told me that the dad went to be with the Lord. Yes. But it was in connection with what you actually was attacking you. So now, uh, and then I remember asking you, is this the, are you the only person with this problem? Or then you said, how many other people had the same problem in your family? I asked you, then you told me there were how many? The ones I know is my mom. Me and my sisters, they are two sisters. We are three sisters. Of, we two. are very many children, yes. but of my mother, we are three. And we all have the same, we had all the same problem with, with our mom. You all had the same problem with your mom? Yes. You know, God is mighty and the devil is a liar. You see, sometimes when we get like these words of prophecy, they come to direct us to some point. The reason why God 
helped me to see that there was no dad. And then he later told me everything else that is affecting them, something similar in connection, whatever the attack was, similar. And we had to deal with it. That's why I asked her, is there anyone else with the same challenge in the family? And then she told me the mother and she said my other two siblings. All right. So, then I gave you the microphone. I said, say this out loud because you'll come back and testify. I said, say your challenge. I don't know if you remember. Now, you are prayed for. After being prayed for, I reached home. I couldn't take Posho. Even porridge of Posho, I couldn't take. Was Before you couldn't take Posho. Yeah. And even uh, white if, porridge. Even white porridge, I couldn't. Yes. So when I reached home, I started taking posho everything. I now eat everything. Hallelujah. <laughs> so wait, is, is your auntie aware that you are not taking posho? Had you told her that you don't take posho and those things? No, she didn't and know. Courage. She didn't know. Yeah. You are suffering locally. Yes. <laughs> so. But pastor, yes. for the case of my mother, it was worse. Your mother was worse. My mother was worse. She went in the hospital. They, tell, they told us she has wounds all over the stomach. So she's not supposed to eat roasted maize, posho, cassava, a lot of food. And even cold food. When you sleep, you cook it at night, then in the morning you, you eat it. Maworo. She couldn't. Yes. Maworo. She couldn't eat. But now... So you she can eat everything also. <laughs> Amen. When the thing that was the cause is uprooted, the symptoms are nothing. And they don't even take a second. I've been meditating the whole of this week that has passed. Cast out devils. That's what I've been meditating on. I've been meditating on Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 and Luke chapter 9 verse 1. In my name, they will cast out devils. The word cast means drive. It does not mean negotiate. It means out. Order. We have been given power that is superior to spirits of darkness. We command them to live and they live. And they cannot come back. When you command it to live, say, never come back. Put that also there. Say, and never come back. It will never come back. Because you have told it what to do. It will never come back. I want us to appreciate God for this wonderful testimony. <laughs> Healed of ulcers. Wherever I will meet ulcers, I will cast it out in the name of Jesus. I suffered from ulcers from the time I was in the P7 for 16 years. I finished school. The levels I went to in, with ulcers. When God healed me in 2006, I've been healed ever since forever and I've never suffered from ulcers again. One time I had an interaction with the Lord sometime last year and it was in a dream and I blessed the Lord. In a dream and then Jesus appeared to me. And then I asked him, I said, Jesus, I used to have ulcers. What happened? He told me, you were completely healed. And then at that point there's something that had disturbed me somehow. I said, but why is it that I'm feeling some discomfort on the left side of my belly? The Lord himself, I'm not talking about in an image of apostle where they're saying I've made the Lord. No, it was the Lord. He says, no. You were completely healed. That's some other little thing to deal with. And I dealt with it. So, when God heals you, you are completely healed. <laughs> my sister, wherever you find answers, heal it in the name of Jesus. From today. Amen. Let's pray for her. Another thing. Yes, yes. Another thing. Even my sister, she, Even studied, sister. she studies from Entebbe. She also had the problem. She's very young. Mm. Even the back. She could do pain in the back. She even cries. She slipped down. She started rolling herself crying. Mom, back is killing me. But since that time began, she has never cried. She has never called us, telling us about that back and others. Our family is healed through her, his prayer. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Where's that piano? Look at that. Jesus is Lord. So my sister, your mother was healed. Your family was healed. I want the whole church to pray for this lady. Let's pray. I want you to bless her. Give the microphone. Just kneel down. Oh, oh, what about the nose bleeding? 
I had, I had never experienced generous breathing again. Since that time. Since that time. What has happened? Say it boldly. Say about nose. What happened to nose bleeding? I could be there just seated. I feel the blood is just coming out of my nose. From nowhere it is coming. I start feeling too much headache. And since then he laid hands on me. I have never experienced that. No more nose bleeding. How long has it been now since, since you are prayed for? So far there are two months. Two months. Let's give Jesus a big hand cup of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know when we say we serve God, people of God send his word. You serve the living God. I serve a God who is powerful. I serve a God who is mighty. 